Hey, mate, wake up. Hey, wake up. So it looks like the rain's clearing up. And I can't sleep. So neither can you. <laughs> so do you wanna just like cuddle by the fire and uh, watch the stars? No? Why? <laughs> it's literally our ancestors' favorite pastime. Which we've and have collectively just been forced to move away from because we don't have the... Well... Well, we don't have the time, really. And even then we're all stuck in our own head, but that's not the point. Hmm. Come watch the stars with me. Hmm. We can ramble about humanity's future and the stars and have a one day those stars will be ours. Oh. Really? Me ranting about humanity's future won't get your attention? Okay. Um. How about this, Master? I'll make you bacon pancakes for breakfast if you come along. <laughs> okay, okay, well, that got your attention. Okay. Fine, come on. <laughs> Lay back. Let me use you as a pillow. Come here. used to say that uh, fire was nature's television, but I'm starting to think he's a little wrong. I can't help but feel like the stars are fat, but just like, it's like the difference between a standard definition TV and like a plasma widescreen TV. With Netflix. <laughs> mm. Oh, come on. I'll be really disappointed if you didn't get that reference. Come on. <laughs> my disappointment would be immeasurable. And my night would be ruined. <laughs> mm. calm moments. Hmm? It can't be just me, right? Hmm. Mm. I wonder if it's just me being a bottom. Mm, but you don't mind, do you? But I'm an advocate for humanity first. <laughs> mm. No, I just... Mm. Well, let's say it's more a secondary stance, like... Primarily, we need to get off this rock. 
If we don't, all it would take is a stray silver fire to just annihilate this wonderful um, anomaly, which is humanity. Like, the odds of us even being allowed to exist by the universe to begin with is so stacked against us. <laughs> mm. 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 But, well, Mother Earth has been a uh, gracious host to us. We're bleeding her dry. Mm. There's genuine fear we might end up accidentally killing her before we can save her. Hence, mm. the stars they call the to go to push on our boundaries far united we shall cross the galactic streams one day our new One day we'll rule the stars The stars they call for us to come To push beyond our own world There's infinite resource abound all we have to do is take it. But as they say, unless we stand united, it'll all be for naught. <laughs> Funny thing. Um, my senior quote, actually. <laughs> yeah, I like to think it serves as a something both Metal Gear fans and Fallout fans can agree on. That war. War never changes. But warfare itself does. I mean... What Kojima says about war, yeah, it's true. War has... Warfare has changed. But... At the end of the day, the driving force remains the same. <sighs> I... Don't know if humanity will be able to beat it. Hopeful, but I <sighs> it's kind of depressing, actually. Maybe we'll succeed. But until then, I guess. Just carry on. That's all we can do. I, 
I'm sorry, I don't want to get too deep, I just... Humanity's prospect for space is promising, but it's, it's probably not going to be our generation who gets to go. We're in a unique perspective, a unique position in the timeline. We have to build the foundation so that maybe our grandkids, or their grandkids at least, are able to push off into the stars. And so far, it feels like we've done a lousy job. I get rambly. Um. <laughs> oh, what is this channel becoming? <laughs> I don't know. But I guess we'll find out together. Alright. I'll let you get your beauty sleep and I'll just mm. Mm. squeeze you. Mm. Mm. I love you. <laughs>